so you may remember a while ago I was selling customised shorts similar to ones like these and I felt kind of bad um, on you guys because I was getting so many orders in for them that I just didn't have time to do them anymore so I kind of stopped doing it because so many people wanted them and I just didn't have time to make them all so what I thought I'd do is show you how to make your own so that you can do it and it's really easy and it doesn't cost a lot of money so so in the case of these which is just how I'm going to show you how to make these today you start with a pair of jeans you can buy, I bought ones that look like this they are already acid washed kind of um, these were from Primark and they were a tenner I think they already have little studs on them and they're already bleached and they're already cut at the bottom because they've got all the thing now you don't have to buy them already like this it'll work out cheaper if you buy a normal pair of shorts and then do this to it after but I'm going to show you how to do it on this just because it's easier and it's quicker and you can buy these in Primark and they're not that much money so you can use any pair of shorts you want but I'm going to start with these. Now if you wanted to get to this point without buying these and just buying a normal pair of dark, buy, yeah, buy a normal pair of shorts. If you want them to like this you need to buy dark denim. So the darkest colour denim here, they have to be all that colour. Then what you would do is um, cut the bottom of the shorts across and pull out the, like these bits that fluff out. If you get a pair of tweezers you can pull them out like that and it will bring all the fur out. So that's what you do to get that. And then basically to get the colour of this, uh, like it's got all different, it's like dark denim with white over it, gives it the acid wash look. How you get that is basically just put bleach on the jeans. Where the white bits are, that's where bleach has been. So you want to put it, spread it in a pattern kind of thing. Bleach random places, leave it for however many hours it takes. And then they'll look like that. You have to wash them off though before. Don't just leave bleach and then put the colour on because then the colour won't take. So bleach them then wash them. I'm just going to show you how to do these now. So you'll have got to this point by then. The studs, um, I'm going to show you how to add your own studs later on as well. So you don't need to do that. I'll show you. Yeah, let's start. Okay, so first of all you want to cover your surface that you're going to do it on. Um, preferably with back bin liners but I don't have black bin liners so I've just done it with newspaper so the lighter the jeans are the brighter the colour will be you want to buy these dyes I buy mine from Dylon um, I'm going to use flamingo pink and Bahama blue just like the other pair what you want to do is take the dye that you're using alright I'll do the blue first Okay, I'm going to do blue on the top first so what you do is get your Bahama blue colour and what I do is just use like a spray bottle you know what you put like bleach in and obviously empty all the bleach out and then pour this in here this is just because it makes it all a bit easier so what you do is you get the dye and you pour it in the top you can put in as much or as little as you want depending on how blue you want the colour to be and also uh, how light the jeans are so these are getting on the top so you just put in a good sized amount really you can always change that later you can always put more in so then you add water and salt so this is just a mix of water and salt I don't know what the salt does but apparently it helps that's what it says in the instructions anyway and then you just pour that in there for as much as you think you're going to need you can kind of tell at the bottom of the thing what colour it's going to be because it shows you that it's going to look like that. Put the gritty thing on the top. Then what you do is get your blue and you start spraying it on. Right there, you can see that better now. You will get down your hands and it will be messy, so just be warned. So you're just doing all the top of it. The button won't die, so don't worry about that. You want to do it to about halfway down. Get the colour off. Make sure you don't get it all. Move the tilt the colour off at the top so that it's not messy. Turn it over and do the back. So now you're going to do the pink. Also, if you want like a purpley colour, you can mix the blue dye and the pink dye together to make it purple. But again, you're just spraying it on the bottom. It's going to come out blue at first because that's just what colours in the thing in the bottle. So I've mixed mine with a little bit of blue so that it was more of a purpley pink. 
because I just prefer it like that, I guess, just preference. You might just want to tip it on in the end because the pump's running out, so you might just want to do that. After that, you'll be left with something like this. So they are clearly pinky purple on the bottom and blue turquoise on the top. Now I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do using bleach. And this also works if you just don't even want to put any colour on it and you just want to do your denim shorts up to be a little bit different by putting bleach on them. It'll make a cool effect so I'll show you how to do that. Using any bleach, just take the lid off. And what this does, bleach will basically grab the colour out of anything. So anything that has colours put in it so just even a pair of denim jeans without colour on it it'll take the colour out and it'll turn it white so if you just get a pair of dark denim jeans and put this on it you'll get white the white effect that these jeans already had on them so that was how you would get that but on top of colour you can do this thing where it just leaves a pretty pattern so I'll just show you for example if I just do that you're basically just drizzling it in certain areas and what that does over a period of time will take the colour out that you've just put in which seems pretty pointless but it gives it this really cool effect so you're just going to leave them to dry and after they've dried all you do is just wash them off hand wash them with water and a bit of detergent soap or whatever you want to use just wash it off until the colour runs clear and then they will be dyed this colour forever well not forever but for a really long time then you'll have to redo it okay so when that dries you end up with this these these are obviously not the same pair these are the ones I had earlier um, but here's one I made earlier so these have faded a little bit because I've worn them quite a few times so the top's kind of going a little bit aqua green colour the bottom's still quite purple. When I did the bleaching thing where I showed you what it takes the colour off, an example of that is this. Um, if you can see there's like lines, like white lines across there and on here and on the front, like scribbled on. Like here, look, if you see here, it should obviously all be pink across the bottom, but the bleach takes it out and makes it a bit more dishevelled. So it looks like that. So this is what you end up with. Uh, obviously you can leave it there because these ones already have studs on. But if you don't already have studs on and you want to put studs on, I'm going to show you how to do that. I would actually suggest using a 50 pence coin because that's probably the best to use. But in this example I only have 20 pence so I'm just going to do it with that. The, pin, the studs length that you get will look like this come in a pack like that of however many and they are studs and then on the back they have four prongs like four spiky pieces ah I've just dropped it what you do is wherever you want to put the stud I'm just going to put it here in the zip bit you make sure your prongs are straight line it wherever you want it to go so say I just want it there then you to flip it over and push it through the stud there the metal prongs are here, there's one there, one there, one there, one there. Like, I think you can see them there. Then what you do is, with your coin, just flatten down all the prongs so that they indent like that. I don't know where's it. I've got all green dye on my hands as well. It's not a good look. But, simply fold them in like that and you'll end up with a pattern like that on the back. And that will hold that in place. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to videos every week. If you'd like me to do more of these DIY videos, then make sure you let me know so I know to do more in the future. And now I'm going to go and enjoy the sun. Bye!